Historically low prices and the public's desire for cleaner energy have fueled the growing popularity of natural gas. Clean burning natural gas currently produces one quarter of all electric generation and heats about half of all U.S. homes, and those numbers continue to climb. Williams, a leading energy infrastructure company, and Cabot Oil and Gas, an independent natural gas producer, are working together to develop a major transmission pipeline project to connect abundant domestic Appalachian natural gas supplies in northern Pennsylvania with major northeastern markets by 2015. The approximately 120-mile Constitution Pipeline is being designed with a capacity to transport enough natural gas to serve nearly 3 million American homes. Buried underground, the 30-inch pipeline would extend from Susquehanna County, Pennsylvania to the Iroquois Gas Transmission and Tennessee Gas Pipeline Systems in Schoharie County, New York. The proposed project route generally follows Interstate 88, stretching from Susquehanna County, Pennsylvania into Broome County, New York, Chenango County, New York, Delaware County, New York, and ending in Schoharie County, New York. The Constitution Pipeline is being designed to transport natural gas that has already been produced in Pennsylvania. It's not dependent upon, nor does it require, the development of new natural gas wells along the project's proposed path. The pipeline is fully contracted with commitments from established natural gas producers currently operating in Pennsylvania. Before the pipeline can be constructed, Constitution Pipeline Company must first obtain a Federal Certificate of Public Convenience and Necessity from the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, in addition to various state and local permits. In April 2012, Constitution Pipeline Company requested that FERC initiate a pre-filing environmental review of the proposed pipeline route. The FERC pre-filing process is intended to solicit early input from citizens governmental entities and other interested parties to identify and address issues with potential facility locations. Following the pre-filing period, Constitution Pipeline Company plans to file an application with FERC in early 2013 seeking approval to construct the project. In developing the primary proposed route, project engineers attempt to balance environmental and landowner considerations with the engineering requirements for safely constructing a transmission pipeline. Ground surveys are a preliminary first step in gathering critical information that can be used in developing a pipeline proposal. Initial environmental, civil, and cultural surveys for the Constitution Pipeline began in June of 2012. Information collected during the survey process will be used to help determine the best location for the proposed pipeline facilities. If the pipeline is ultimately approved and constructed, there would be significant benefits for local communities. The presence of a natural gas transmission pipeline can create a backbone for future economic growth. As an open access pipeline, local municipalities or public utilities could potentially tap the line to provide future residential, commercial, and industrial natural gas service. In addition, there would be significant short-term economic benefits during construction. State and local communities would benefit through state and local sales taxes. Communities would also benefit from property taxes that the Constitution Pipeline Company will pay during the ongoing operation of the pipeline. Constitution Pipeline Company is committed to working closely with all interested parties to design a pipeline project that minimizes environmental and community impacts while supplying a valuable domestic resource for our country's growing energy needs. If you have questions or would like to learn more about the pipeline project, visit us online at www.constitutionpipeline.com.